Hi, Sagittarius. It's Alex. Ooh, that was a long shuffle. And I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what the universe has for you. Yes, good shuffle, Sag. Ooh, justice. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Ooh, Hierophant. Okay, so this is walking away from something. This is getting out before, you know, kind of abandoning ship, so to speak. Oh, angels are saying you are leaving another situation to make yourself to make yourself available for love. There is a caveat here because I do kind of feel like you are communicating or need to communicate to your person that you do need to go slow. Um, it looks like it could be a divorce. Maybe you're coming out of a marriage or you're dealing with someone who's coming out of a marriage and you guys need to take this slow. Okay. Um, with all these pentacles sitting right here, I would almost also even wonder that if the reason why mm, met pentacles, yes, Sagittarius. Oh, see pentacle. There it is. They're coming out of it. So you need to go slow. And I was going to say with all of these pentacles here, I would wonder if things like money, children, the ex who's being divorced or the estranged spouse, that that is a delicate situation because I feel like, yes, you've been married. They could have been married to this person for a long time. You guys still probably are on each other's um, insurance and the house is still in both of your names. So I kind of feel like diplomacy is going to be incredibly key in this situation. OK, you have the justice card here, which says, OK, something is being balanced, right? There's some sort of. Uh, message or indication that there is a new opportunity or there is um, something tangible either being balanced, right? Something tangible being offered. This situation is going to go slow. It's going to take its time. It's going to be really meticulous because again, I do kind of feel like there's money and status and getting your name out of this legal document and my name out of this one. Um, the Ten of Cups, which is family life, home, happily ever after. The world card represent, re representing seasons. Yeah, that makes sense. There's child support and kids. This is a very delicate situation, okay? But with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, Yeah, it's almost like I, you, the message came to me, but usually when messages come to me, I do like to kind of run them back to just validate or verify them. And the message that came was almost was like you're ending one 10 to begin a new 10, right? So you are, this is wife and kids and, you know, family intermingling and going to Christmas and Thanksgiving together and um, that's the, the justice as in I feel like that's the current situation that your person is in, right? They're the head of household. Um, they have kids with their spouse. Um, they could just, I mean, recently decided to get a divorce, right? And I'm saying divorce because you have the justice card there. And for me as a reader, the justice card usually means somebody is going to court, right? Um, and usually when people initiate something in court, could be suing, could be divorced, right? Like this is a human initiated legal action, okay? And again, because we have the page, which is a child, and then also the Ten of Cups, that also leads me to believe, again, family, children, Ten of Cups, happily ever after. The world card represents beginnings and endings. It represents seasons and cycles, right? 
And this is going to be a slow proceeding, right? You guys could be in court for a minute. Okay. Or your person could be in court for a minute. And again, that just kind of says to me too, that's what also makes this a very, very, very delicate cycle because I just, I really do feel like there are kids involved. There is a lifestyle involved and dismantling that is going to take time and effort, right? But you also have new love and a new 10 of pentacles as in making new, a new emotional investment in somebody else, leaving an unattainable situation, moving on to something else, you know, the Hierophant, Hey, it's the right thing to do. Um, we went to couples counseling. We couldn't make it out of couples counseling. Our couples counseling helped us to determine that. Yes, we need to move on and move away from this. There's nothing left to give. There's nothing left, left in this. This feels amicable as hell. And, and I love it, by the way. I absolutely love it. Okay. This is how people, as an example, should separate. They should divorce. As in the person that you married, the one that you fell in love with, should be the same person that you divorce and not the snarling, you know, green-eyed devil who just wants to take you to the bank and, you know, just keep all your money and the kids and the dog right? Angels are also telling me to read this another way. Um, I do kind of feel like um, um, some of you guys are getting notification about some sort of legal victory, or you could be getting notification that you just landed a new job. Um, this new job, it's, it's high ranking, whatever this is, and it's going to take some time. You may have to do a drug screen, background check, you may have to go through several different interviews or several different, you know, clearances to kind of get you kind of quote unquote up to speed, right? I do kind of feel like for you guys who may be resonating with the career reading, um, this is something that you always wanted. This was your dream job. Not only that, but I'm also feeling with the, um, pay, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here, right? You have, oh, I thought you had two Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of, ten of Cups. To me, like, that's like the Holy Grail, right? The Ace of Cups is like the Holy Grail. This is what you always wanted. This is what you've been working for. This is, you know, time, sweat, time spent, blood, sweat, and tears to reach this level of success. This is crazy because I'm also hearing police, a uh, police academy, military, and also the bar, meaning the legal bar. Okay. For a lot of you guys, um, this is you graduating or achieving, um, your lifelong dream. That is amazing. Sagittarius. This is a high ranking, um, honor and completion and accomplishment. You have the bishop who's the Hierophant and the Six of Wands. Yeah, there's your victory right there. And he is um, coming out of battle, right? He's coming out of the battle of the Five of Wands and he's been able to get over the hump and, and come out of it with the W, with the victory. Now he's riding off um, into the sunset to enjoy his victory, but then not only that, but take care of himself, right? Like get himself back in order and back together. Um, this Hierophant here feels like this was ordained. You know what I mean? This is a high ranking accomplishment. The second part of the second storyline is a high ranking, um, accomplishment. Now with the five of swords and also the six of, um, pentacles, excuse me, the knight of pentacles. I don't know where I got the six from, but the five of swords and the knight of pentacles, Oh, angels just said that something like you wanted to give up or you wanted to. Oh, that's so sweet. I kind of get for a lot of you guys. There were to oh, own you had somebody in your corner who. Oh, that's so sweet that who you wanted to give up, but they kept encouraging, you No, know, babe, keep going. You're going to get this. You're going to do right. And now they say, for instance, that you've achieved or accomplished this goal or achievement, you, you guys kind of get to celebrate together. You get to put the, the worst part of it behind you. 
right? Like you get to, um, it's like the hard work is done is what I'm getting, right? Like the worst part is over is what I'm hearing. So it's almost like you get to put this behind you. Angel answers. Meditation brings answers. So now both storylines are complete. So now meditation brings answers kind of says, you know, what is taking you so long or what, what is taking you so long to kind of let go? What is taking you so long to kind of quote unquote move on um, to, you know, a lot of the times as an, as an example with acting, when, when actors play characters that are incredibly intense um, like Lady Gaga in A Star is Born or uh, Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born. I think Lady, Lady Gaga mentioned that it took her some time to come out of that character because it was so intense, right? And a lot of the times in acting, they embody these characters that they're playing, meaning these characters get inside of them. And I feel like whatever this was, whether it's a marriage that you're coming out of, it was the hard work of your blood, sweat, and tears of being in the military or going through the police academy or studying to take your bar to get your Juris Doctorate. Whatever that was, this Knight of Pentacles and also the Five of Swords is saying, okay, baby, you won, right? You got the victory. You made it. Now it's time to start to kind of quote unquote unwind and let your hair down and kind of release all of that intensity that you guys were carrying with you up until this point. That's a beautiful way of, of delivering that message, angels. This situation will improve. Regardless as to what situation it is, whether somebody is leaving their happy home to, you know, because, you know, for whatever reasons, um, it's an adjustment period that in both scenarios, that's exactly what the underlying message is, is that it's an adjustment period that somebody needs to go through. It's confirmation. Yes. Ask for help from others. Yeah. You know what I'm also hearing is for our military, God bless you and thank you all for your service. But it's almost even like coming back to war, coming out of um, deployment. And coming back home to all of these honors and accolades and your family and your friends, but you're coming freshly out of war and it's going to take some time to you for you to reacclimate yourself to civilian life. And you're leaving behind a lot, you know, five of swords could also represent PTSD. Whereas, you know, um, even it's almost like, even though you're physically leaving the battlefield, the battlefield is still inside of you where, yeah, you may need to seek some sort of counseling to help you deal with whatever's still inside of you, replaying itself over and over again. That was a beautiful message too. We have Libra here. We have Taurus here. Um, and that, and then we also have Capricorn here. So Libra, Taurus, and Capricorn, we got the two, two earth signs. And then we also have an air sign. Yeah. And air and earth, right? It's like, you know, kind of, kind of drastic, kind of a lot of space in between air and earth. Um, just two very, very different lifestyles is what I'm hearing, which again is what this messaging message is echoing the transition from one until the other and just having to, to adjust to this new normal. So Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment, guys. You can absolutely comment on these readings and share your experiences with other viewers and subscribers. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are in the about section of my channel. Thanks, Sag. Bye.